Mga idol at kabayan, breaking news! Mga Pilipinong mangisda nakipagsigawan sa mga tauhan ng China Coast Guard sa Bao di Masinlo. This oras ng gabi, nakuha pang paalisin ng China Coast Guard ang mga Pilipino sa mismong karagatang sakop ng ating exclusive economic zone. Pero kung patas lang ang laban, hindi aatras ang mga Pilipino. Yan ang sigurado. Sigaw ni Kuya, and I quote, This is my Philippine territory. This is Philippine exclusive economic zone. This is my Philippine territory! This is my Philippine territory! This is my exclusive economic zone of the Philippines! Department of National Defense Secretary Gibo Chodoro, ginisa ang China sa sarili nilang mantika. Ito ay matapos pa ulit-ulit na hinihiling ng China sa Pilipinas na alisin ang US Medrange Missile System na in-deploy sa hilagang bahagi ng Luzon. Ayon sa Departamento ng Depensa ng Pilipinas, manalamin muna ang China bago nila pagsabihan ang Pilipinas. Unahin muna nilang sirain ang kanilang mga nuclear weapon, ballistic missile, at tanggalin ang kanilang mga artificial na isla sa West Philippine Sea. Well, I'm glad that you asked that question yes, that China reacted. Why don't they look at their own offensive missile capabilities and remove it, destroy their nuclear weapons, and vacate mischief reef and get out of the West Philippine Sea? Yes, sir. Philippine Coast Guard nilapitan ang pitong barko ng China na naglalayag malapit sa Palawan. Binuntutan at minanmanan ng BRPKP Inganyo ang isa sa survey vessel ng China na ang lapit lang sa Palawan. Mangingisdang Pilipino hinaras ng China Coast Guard sa Baho di Masinlo kahit sa kadalima ng gabi sa kargatan natin sa West Philippine Sea. Maririnig natin ang kasakiman ng China Coast Guard na nagpupumilit na alila daw ang Baho di Masinlo at pinapaalis ang mga mangingisdang Pilipino sa sarili nating karagatan sa videong kuha at idinokumento ni Kuya Francis Alaras habang siya ay nangingisda sa West Philippine Sea. Pinapaalis sila ng mga tauhan ng China's Coast Guard na nakasakay sa rubber boat sa Baho di Masinlo Oscar Borosol. Pero hindi nagpatiwala si Kuya Francis Alaras nanindigan si Kuya at nakipagsigawan sa harap ng Chinese Coast Guard Welta ni Kuya Francis and I quote This is my Philippine territory This is my Philippine territory This is exclusive economic zone of the Philippines Unquote Ito talaga guys why ano nagbaba 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 ng rubber boot talagang gusto kami paalay siya no one last tip to mga China na to Ayan guys, talagang gusto kami pala siya, ayan o. This is my Philippine territory! This is my Philippine territory! This is my exclusive economic zone of the Philippines! Okay, so galit na galit eh. Kita rin na meron ng barkong pandigma na diniploy ang China sa lugar kung saan nasa loob ng exclusive economic zone ng Pilipinas. Hinaing ng mga kababayan nating mga mga ng Pilipino. Wala na silang nahuhuli dahil sa itinataboy sila ng China sa area na kung saan masagana sa likas na yamang daga. Hiling nila Kuya Francis na sana ang video ito ay mapakinggan at mapanood ni Pangulong Bongbong Marcos Jr. Lagi kami ni naano ito hinahabol. Presidente! Pakinggan mo naman yung mga taing namin! Ayun, yung mga kababayan natin yung mangista. Presidente, sana umabot po sa iyo. Ito na yung mga China nga nang hapon sa amin to. Mr. Bumbum, please join! Oo, 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 oo. Kaya bibigyo mo ako kayo. Kasi nakulo itong mga to eh. Presidente, bibigyo mo. Hindi kami makaayos ng hanap buhay. Bibigyo mo kami. Kaya sa kanila. Bibigyo mo ako kayo, Presidente. Ito, 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 yung mukha na ito. Bawa nga po kayo sa amin. Sa hero yan, wala pang huli yan. Hindi po kami makaayos yan, may huli na yun kasi so, ulang pa sa akin. <laughs> sa ibang balita naman, Chinese Research Vessel na nagsasagawa ng pananaliksik malapit sa Palawan, nilapitan ng barko ng Philippine Coast Guard ang BRPKP Engaño MRRV 4411. Kung dati China ang nagsasagawa ng shadowing tactics, ngayon, Pilipinas naman ang gumagawa nito upang ipakita sa hayang DG-12 how na iligal ang kanilang ginagawa sa loob ng exclusive economic zone ng Pilipinas. Kasama ng survey vessel ng China, ang anim na Chinese Maritime Militia. Kinumpirma ng Philippine Coast Guard na ang pinakabagong iligal na gawain at pagpasok ng mga barko ng China
China, malapit sa Palawan, ay walang kaukulang permiso sa Department of Foreign Affairs. Kita din sa isa pang open source na lumapit at lumikit ang barko ng Pilipinas sa mga barko ng China na ang lapit na sa Rio Dubas sa Palawan. Talagang sinusubukan ng China kung hanggang saan ang pasensya ng Pilipinas. Pitong Chinese Maritime Militia, isang Chinese Coast Guard at isang Chinese Survey Vessel laban sa isang barko ng Philippine Coast Guard. Hindi nila ginalaw ang BRPKP Inganyo MRRV 4411 dahil alam ng mga barko ng China na sila ay nasa teritoryo ng Pilipinas. Department of National Defense Secretary Gibo Chudoro, ginisa ang China sa sarili nilang mantika. Ito ay matapos pa ulit-ulit na hinihiling ng China sa Pilipinas na alisin ang US Medrange Missile System na in-deploy sa hilagang bahagi ng Luzon. All deterrent capabilities are within our horizon yes. no? of for acquiring whatever will serve our deterrent purpose uh, for our national defense. Of course, that is open for consideration. Pero is it in Horizon 3? Not necessarily. Uh, I, I cannot confirm or deny that. But whatever will serve our uh, CADC yes. and a credible deterrent uh, will be considered. Why is the why are why is the question being propounded? Well, one is China recently reacted to. Oh, the, well, I'm glad that you asked that question. Yes, that sir. China reacted. Why don't they look at their own offensive missile capabilities and remove it, destroy their nuclear weapons, and vacate mischief reef? and get out of the West Philippine Sea. Yes, sir. Why are they picking on a country which uh, is uh, seeking to strengthen its credible deterrent posture while they have full offensive ballistic and other capabilities? Yeah. And how can a country which is seeking to protect its exclusive economic zone from unlawful aggression be uh, a cause of instability in the Indo-Pacific area. While this country does not have offensive nuclear weapons capabilities, has not reclaimed islands, has not claimed a non-dash line which is illegal and absurd as part of, as part of its uh, illegal arsenal. So, I wonder why uh, uh, such is the case. And it's a part of the disingenuous uh, robotic propaganda of China once again. Yes, sir, given that you're saying they're disingenuous, there is a supposed planned meeting on the sidelines of the ONGA on maritime security in the South China Sea. How do we think that will help our defense posture? Kung got may ganong discussions. Uh, that that that, that uh, I cannot answer. Okay. Uh, my answer really is only based on my role as Secretary of Defense, and as the discussions here noted, it's really beefing up our readiness and our capabilities. Uh, that is for the National Maritime Council yes. to to address. But then again, thank you for asking the question uh, that uh, China has been propounding. What are they doing? Who started the arms race? Who built an island in the uh, in the uh, you know, West Philippine Sea in in the mischief reef? And why aren't they condemning the other ASEAN countries with four percent GDP uh, defense GDP spending? So why target? Uh, uh, the Philippines. So if they are they're throwing stones right now, let them remove their nuclear arsenal, withdraw from places that they're not supposed to be. West Philippine Sea, maybe China is in other areas where they should not be. They're even training on the border of Poland, which the po Polish foreign minister told me they don't like. Uh, you know, and Russia is in places it should not be either. So before they make a comment here, why don't they do the right thing first?